here's what's for dinner. I got a pepperoni pretzel thing and a sausage pretzel thing from a place called uh, Philly, Philly Pretzel Factory. And uh, went to the local gas station and they had a variety pack. I got some Yingling, Hershey's, Porter, Oatmeal Cream Pie, Sarnak Caramel Porter, some Victory Merry Monkey Southern Tier 2 Xmas Spice Double Ale and uh, Christmas Ale Scotch Scotch Ale Scotch Ale so I think what I'll do is I'll have uh, I'm gonna start with the Sarnak Caramel Porter 5.5 4% alcohol by volume, and uh, I'll do a review on these later. So, I also got some uh, brown mustard. Mmm, 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 look at that. And let's do a little taste test. Fourth generation family brewery. Uh, doesn't say much. Porter with natural flavor and caramel color. Uh, real caramelized sugar, roasted barley, chocolate, and caramel malts. Uh, produce a delicate brew that will surely satisfy your sweet tooth. Let's get a drink and apparatus. Smells like a porter. Not much chuck. Yeah, maybe one finger chuck. Cheers. It's pretty good. Smooth. I'm not tasting the caramel. It's just a, uh, yeah, it's a porter. It's like beer with some molasses. I would say it's uh, one notch above a lawn mowing beer. Um, I've had better, but yeah, it's decent. Yeah. I wouldn't turn it down. So let's try the uh, the old sausage. Let's try it um, all natural here. So good, Oh, a big sausage. Good snap. Nice sausage flavoring. Ooh, it's got a little bite. <clears throat> got a little like peppery bite to it. <clears throat> The pretzels kind of flat. So this pair good. Let's try it with the uh, <coughs> Jojo. <laughs> Let's try it with a little uh, brown mustard, mustard, mutard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's some good mustard right there. Very, very good. I'm not sure how much I paid for these. But they're good. If you're in uh, the Pittsburgh area, I think this is the only one in the area. But the Philly, Philly Pretzel Company factory. They're all right. All right. So let's try the pepperoni. And Chez pretzel. First bite, all natural. Let me cleanse the palate. So good, buttery. Mmm. Kind of bland. 
There's no tomato sauce in it. <clears throat> um, I don't know. If you're hungry, it's good. But let's do the old mustard. And look at that. So good, buddy. It's okay. It's good. I like pretzel and uh, and mustard go together. The creaminess of the cheese is good. Mm. Yeah, it's good. Very, very good. Mm. New bite. So much butter. Those go together really good. Definitely, I would go back and get some more of these. Some good sausage. This is probably one of those, um, not, I wouldn't say perfect, but very good pairing. You know, sometimes you, you hit it right on the nose. I've had some food and beers that don't pair very well, each one by themselves is good, but they don't, you know, they don't pair very well. The, the, the flavors are are a bit off. Like um, sometimes whatever you eat and then you drink the uh, the beer, the, the bite, the beer has more bite because of the flavor transition from whatever you were eating to, to the beer. But this, everything blends together very nice, very well. Yeah, the beer is still smooth. Mm. Very, very good. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. Mm. By the way, here's what I had for lunch. They're supposed to be enchiladas, but um, they were good. Not what I expected, though. Um, I'll have to do a video of uh, me eating one of their uh, menu selections one day. It's a Mexican restaurant called Pastorcitos or El Pastorcitos or something. It's not as good as the uh, the spring rolls I had. That was nostalgia mixed with very good flavors. But eh, this is good. I mean, if I grew up eating this, I would say it would bring back memories. But speaking of mustard, um, you guys like Satan sauce? He makes really good mustard. He hasn't made mustard in a while. He's on eBay. I have to go see if he's he's uh, made another batch of mustard. That's really good. And what I like is that the sausage is. So some start to finish in, in the um, in the pretzel scrap. I wasn't planning on eating all of this because I had that big lunch, but it was so good. Some things are really delicious that um, you know you, you can't stop eating it, and this is one of them. Simple pleasures, simple pleasures. Sometimes you just have to enjoy it. Take a moment. Think about all the mix of flavors, the texture, mm. it's fleeting, but the memories last a long time. There are some people who are into like gourmet food, but gourmet food it's just, to me, a lot of effort on whoever made it. So, you know, a lot of respect for those, for a chef. Some things you just don't need to spend a whole lot of effort making to have it be 
really, really enjoyable. You know, a lot of these cooking shows and a lot of these cooking videos, again, respect for those people who, who make those videos, but ugh. a lot of it just seems to be more effort than, than needed to make something that tastes really good. Now, I don't doubt that, say, a dish that has a little effort Versus as compared as relative to the ones that you know somebody spent all day making um yeah you can tell the difference but as far as like is it more delicious or less delicious or, or you know is one more delicious than the other um I would say some things probably not I mean I've had things from a real French bakery made by a real French chef uh, it's good but I've had things that were you know n not at a fancy French bakery that I thought were just as good or peak the same um, enjoyment let's put it that way so yeah enjoy things that you find tasteful and uh, don't overcomplicate things find things that they enjoy that won't require too much effort or an over over abundance of effort or price Thanks for watching. Good day, have a good night. Cheers.